Hi there beautiful people, what's going on? Today I'll be doing three reviews for you. Uh, one is a review, one is a list, other one's gonna be a comparison video. So three videos for you, hopefully you like it. Uh, first video I'm gonna do with ladies list first, okay? Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests. I noticed in the comment section, even in my group, I do have a decan page and stuff in Bangladesh. So many of the sisters, you know, like we call them sisters in Islam. So uh, many of the ladies are complaining, uh, Brother Joy, why don't you have any content for women? I'm like, uh, you know, <laughs> you get kind of like awkward pause, like, uh, you know, because you're a reviewer, supposed to review everything, right? So let me just clear out something first. It's like I have nothing against women's perfumes. I used to have a lot. I had one third of my collection of women's fragrances. I do wear them a lot. But what happened in time, I'm just one person. I'm not the super richest guy here. And I don't have like a huge business. So I can own absolutely everything. And uh, storage capacity is another thing. I have a small room. So I cannot keep everything. Some fragrances get finished. I sell them off or trade them. You know, a lot of things happen. So my list of women's perfumes are less in my collection. I must admit. Okay, so that's one uh, shortcoming in my journey so that is my uh, limitation okay so i do apologize but today i have 20 fragrances plus uh, one uh, honorable mention so these are just the ones from available uh, collection i had many more great fragrances like flower bomb not gonna make the list love ye bell um what other armani c a lot of perfumes my burberry black you know i'm just telling you some names uh what else i had great fragrances black opium you know you get the idea so I had some of the best ones and I don't have them right now, okay? So you won't see them here. But from what I have available, I'm going to show you my favorite and ranking them, okay? So you can try these fragrances. They're still great fragrances. You can, if you're in Bangladesh, you can uh, give it a try in shops or you can try a decan from my page, whatever it is. You know, you can try them before buying, okay? So honorable mention, we're going to go with first fragrance I'm going to show you today is a discontinued gem. If you find it somewhere, buy it i think one of our great members lisa from states uh she's a sweetheart in our community she is one of our best members i just say she's the best member she's the happiest uh soul out there and she's always active so she loves this and uh, she bought this uh, under our recommendation this is called versace's verse sense okay versace have a lot of great fragrance versace poor femme versace dylan versace is uh there's one other um versace I forgot the name they have few female perfumes all great okay so dylan blue is very nice dylan blue femme and the versace poor femme and then few more i just cannot remember at this point crystal noir you know but versus for me is the number one versace women's perfumes ever this is fresh citrusy uh, kind of like uh, floral mild green is the lemon in this it's very unisex i call this a unisex perfume but a bit hard to find but if you find it must try it you know so Versace Versense. I'll write down the name. This is my honorable mention. So number 20, you're going to go. Uh, this is from House of <laughs> Juicy Couture. So I used to own Juicy Couture. I am, uh, ju no, I used to own Gold Couture. I still have it somewhere there, but it's kind of like finished, I think. So I'm going to show you another one. Juicy Couture, I am Juicy Couture. This is one of the beautiful looking juice color ever. I really love this fragrance. It's very sweet and the bottle is very unique. This one is not much talked about. I really like this. This one has very nice syrupy sweetness. Most of these fragrances are sweet and some of them are fresh, but uh, it's highly recommended by me because these fragrances tend to be like, let me just spray a little bit, just remind myself. Yeah, it's absolutely like there's some sort of fruitiness inside. I will not remember all the notes obviously at this moment, but this is very nice, uh, long lasting, opulent, sweet juice. I am Juicy Kutur, number 20. Number 19, another Kutur. This is Hot Kutur by Givenchy. Uh, this is basically a uh, fragrance. It's for mature noses. I think it has this chocolate patchouli kind of like a dark sweet tone, but it's kind of on a serious side. Okay, so the perfume When I smell it, you know, it's just from me. It's like from the get-go. It's a very good fragrance. Some people do not love that opening I absolutely like it. I think there's a little bit of violets playing somewhere, but this is a great long-lasting perfume This is the Hot Couture EDP by Givenchy. Try this perfume out. Very nice bottle and juice color as well. Number 19 is hot couture i reviewed them all check out my review full review to get better idea number 18 i'm going ranking wise number 18 is lacoste pour femme i absolutely love this perfume this is something i know since my university college days i had a small little sample like this tenemo uh, when i bought lacoste pour homme as a gift i thought that was a men's perfume i could i didn't know much about fragrances in 2000 something you know but uh, this perfume hands down on the best fragrances in my journey that I smell best simple elegant 
not very expensive lacoste affordable but i love this perfume on me as well i love wearing this so highly recommended by me if you never tried it try it other variants are okay like the edp and then they have few other the darker bottles but this one remains my favorite lacoste pour femme number 18. number 17 is a snake not a bikelian snake but this is pure excess by paco Rabanne. so pure excess have few like in the line excess black excess and i forgot their whole lineup but so i'm a little tired today it has been a long day but i'm still happy to be doing this this one has some salty sweetness kind of like uh sweet but at the same time it reminds me of a little bit of olympia i used to have olympia by again by paco Rabanne, but this one beastly performance if you really really love sweet salty kind of like a mixture of the two you should definitely try it this is very nice bottle as well it looks very premium okay i really love i got this bottle i'll just not lie to you i got it for the bottle but love the smell as well so this is good for all year round uh, at night time be very sensual pure excess by pakura ban okay number 16 number 16 is this perfume dolce and gabbana light blue for women i have the adp uh, intense for women i did try many from this house okay the one of them is in this lineup after a while but this hands down is one of the classic for summer not the beastly performer but every time you put this on it's just light airy if you like the subtle fragrances this is something i would say casual any age can wear it any age daughters sisters mothers aunties grandmas anybody wears it smells great and they smell very happy okay check out my review i gave it i think 10 out of 10 it has this bamboo citrus you know very nice florals this is one of the top sellers in this house Dolce Gabbana light blue women so now number uh, 16 is gone number 15 I'm gonna show you a shoe okay and the shoe basically has to make the list but this is not Kevin here a good girl this is good girl like here I have the good girl I have both I love them both I used to really be obsessed with this one I went through multiple bottles but right now I think if you are in a hot tropical country you know like a zone you need something more fruity a little bit more wearable that one right there is a beast it's like a blueberry whatever is in there it's just so strong i think that would be good for nighttime but daytime i think the legger version it's really nice the bottle is still pretty a little bit transparent here gives you the idea it's gonna be lighter this is more wearable kevin herrera okay good girl so legger definitely makes the list okay and the shoes these are something you just want to get it for the shoes right ladies love this perfume okay the whole line is fantastic okay that's number 15. number 14 gucci guilty oud this is a release for unisex it's as far as i remember but i feel it's right in the middle anybody can wear it men women it has a blackberry or black currant and blackberry with a sweet rose and uh, the oud is not like middle eastern kind of oud it's very westernized oud but the perfume has fantastic longevity it's very dark sweet mysterious and the rose is not like a rosy rose like a rose water you know it's very delicious it's very gourmand style okay has hints of uh, baccarat not baccarat rouge i get a vibes of uh, oud satin mood from this one but not as much as vanillic or too sweet this is more balanced okay so definitely gucci is one of the better deal uh, releases gucci guilty oud try it out okay there's a women's version somewhere the older bottle but that's hard to find now uh 30 number 13 is hawas okay by rasa see this hawas femme or for women uh this fragrance is getting so much hype in the community i reviewed this like a uh, couple of years back you know like i did most of the rasa see reviews because of course i was uh, very very close with perfume bangladesh and whatever rasa see they had i reviewed almost everything but hawas is a perfume that i love more than the men's version okay the women's version first thing the juice color no shame in admitting it if you love something you love it okay this juice color is eye-catching it's like almost like a color of amber very beautiful and the juice it's beastly it's last whole day so what is this special about it this fragrance basically is special because of one reason it smells a lot like la vie belle by lancome lancome right yeah lancome la vie belle but good thing about this one is it's almost half the price but performance is better than la vie belle la vie belle is beautiful the bottle is beautiful but the amount of juices 75 mil at a higher price tag almost double the price if you talk about it but if you love la vie belle you should get hawas femme for you know half a price that would be a good deal very good fragrance very good performer okay then we have i think i lost track <laughs> i think number 12 yeah number 12 number 12 is black orchid perfume this is tom ford's uh one of the newer release 
I have the black uh, orchid somewhere there, the black bottle. I love that. Black orchid is a beast. Black orchid has some of the best performance from any designer line. Okay, but what's good about the perfume version? It's an upgrade. It's not as loud. It's more wearable, more rounded. What it means? It basically means not much difference with the EDP. Okay, but the perfume is more. Uh, I, I feel it's not as animal. -like. When I smell it, it still has a truffles, chocolates, you know, a little bit of darkness, uh, kind of spicy. But when you smell it, it's not super aggressive. That's what I love about it. So definitely try out Black Orchid Perfume. This is number 12. Number 11, and then this has been very difficult, actually. Let me count, yeah. Uh, this perfume, I thought I was going to make it number somewhere in top 5. And I, to my surprise, it didn't land in top 5, even top 10. The reason being that next 10 are something special. I love those a lot, which is why this number 11 is just number 11 today. But this is a genuinely beautiful fragrance. Thierry Mugler, one of the best creations ever. Angel Muse. If you never tried it, try it. Uh, this is similar to uh, by Killian's Angel Share. Somewhere, some properties, the uh, sweet properties, you know, in the end. Praline, praline, however they say it. Man, the Vanillic properties, this is a sexy little perfume. Even if you get a little 50 ml, those are very, very cute. The bottles are very, very modern and unique. Okay, the star is there. I do love Angel, but this is more modernized. Angel and wearable, okay? Fruity, sweet, and fresh at the same time. Angel, Muse. So now, time for top 10. Sorry, number 10 is uh, Pacific Rock Moss. This one appeared in my last... Uh, video that was most relaxing fragrances. Uh, this is Goldfield and Banks Australia. Uh, this was basically a big thanks to Demi Rowling, right? She introduced this because this is her uh, native uh, fragrance house and they do make some natural fragrances. But this perfume is such a beauty for summer. This is only good for summer. If you're planning to buy this for winter, if you live somewhere it snows all the time, no point buying this. You will not smell anything. Hire the heat, you know, like you go out, heat and humidity. You, you know your skin warms up that's the time you want to put this on this is this goes through your mask it's so strong okay it just disappears it comes back very funny how it works but uh, this one pacific rock moss is one of my favorites number 10 it's expensive but worth the money <clears throat> number nine jean paul gautier scandal this has a dark juice they have few variants scandal by night scandal a peri a scandal edt there's one more i forgot but Scandal EDP remains my most favorite. The bottles are something. It's like everything. The bottles are everything. Look at those. Look at that cap. You know, look at that. That's a, that's elegance. Okay, that's elegance. Heavy bottle. Love the smell. It's sweet. It's again sweet perfume. It's something, you know, I, I consider it's the same line. If I had Poison Girl, I will show you that one EDP. But Poison Girl, these and the, some of the next ones are very similar to it. Sweet trend. It's just La Vie Belle. Uh, black Opium. You talk about flower bomb, Armani C, big, uh, like fruity, as sometimes embery, sometimes sweet, you know, this is a sweet trend. If you like sweet perfumes, Candle EDP is a must buy. Number eight, this is a perfume, keeps me happy. And I do miss my uh, black opium, perhaps I'll get it, but this has a lot of elements of that one. You know, this is from Dolce & Gabbana. This is the only one. They have only one, two, and then the EDP or something, a dark bottle. But uh, this is magic. This is pure magic. Uh, I wear it on my uh, self when I feel like it's a little bit breezy day. This is very long lasting, okay? And again, sweetness, some freshness, there's some peach or something in there, uh, rose perhaps. It's a sweet, whatever the notes are, this one is a sweet perfume. If you like black opium, love yebel, easy love, okay? And it does project like two hours and a half. So very nice, elegant bottle, heavy bottle. I would definitely recommend it. Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. Number eight. Number seven, another Tom Ford. Soleil, Soleil Blanc or Soleil de Blanc, I forget the name, full name. Uh, this is basically Orchid Soleil, sorry, not Soleil Blanc. What am I thinking? This Orchid Soleil, uh, this has one of the darkest, like orangey colored juice you ever seen. I decanted some and I saw the juice color. It's like literally like it's a nuclear explosion going on in there. It's like um, it, the bottle wouldn't let you see it. But if I do something like it, you know, you can see that color in there. That's the color of the juice, you know, this is very dark orangey liquor kind of juice so great things about it this is orange blossom you know like if you like neroli powdery floral scent i think there's tube rose as well uh you will absolutely it's a crazy loud perfume um the fragrance lasts almost half the day and it does leave a beautiful 
aura behind you. You know, and if you spray, spray on your hair, that's it. You know, people will follow you. If you do love classic by Jean Paul Gaultier, uh, this one is a must, right? This is a niche version of that one, okay? And I think guys can wear it. It's just if your thing is not powdery floral, uh, avoid it. If you do not like florals, I think you can avoid it. If you do not like, uh, uh, let's say, Neroli, this one you can avoid. But apart from that, it has solar energy. This daytime, summertime. Just go one spray and see how vibrant that makes you feel. Okay, this is Orchid Soleil by Tom Ford. Okay, so we have uh, how many left? <laughs> we have okay six left. Okay, number six. Oh wow, number six actually was beaten by number five. Difficult. Uh, this is number six, Zerge of Casa Morati line. This is Lira. This is one of my most favorite perfumes, hands down. Uh, gourmand, sweet. Again, that uh, caramel or something, the vanilla. Uh, the fragrance has uh, like thick sweetness, you know, it's like sweetness but thick, you know, if you like dessert, you know, like a lot of vanilla, caramelized, uh, not caramelized, it's like caramel, you know, on the top of your dessert, then ice cream, you make like layers after layers after layers of sweetness, this is what you get, it's a delicious gourmand, okay, yeah, this is a new version, perhaps it's not as potent as before, like the vintage version, but I get excellent performance, there's a fizzy vibe to it, you know, it's like, and the fragrance I have, similar to this but this is definitely one of my favorite i wear it in the colder months okay zerge of lira definitely unisex perfume beautiful bottle beautiful bottle okay time for top five and top five is oh it's gonna surprise a lot of you number five especially it's gonna surprise a lot of people okay and i'll tell you it's my list so it's my recommendation number five is jean paul gautier la belle uh this perfume has one of the most beautiful looking bottles ever i mean if you are a sucker for bottles, this is definitely something you want to collect, right? Look at that. It looks like a vampire lady, right? She has this uh, thin waist, the corset sort of dress, and then this the design of florals. It's it's a basically sweet, uh, rose, and fruity. Uh, poof. I wear it. I love Jean-Paul Gaultier. This one and this thing came out together. Le Beau. This was a pair. You know, I love the men's version, but I love this one more because this one is beast mode. This is what makes it number five. It's an absolute strong perfume, very zero weakness, but only thing I would say, if you do not like sweet perfumes, uh, do not bother. <laughs> but La Belle is hands down. I think this is the best. It's better than even for me, the Scandal ADP, okay? So good. The roses in this is amazing, okay? La Belle by Jean Paul Gaultier, number five. Number four, Nishane Ulamcha. Okay, this is a change of pace because you see all the sweetness, suddenly there's a freshie. Uh, this is based on liking, okay? I love this perfume a lot. It's a sweet perfume, fresh perfume, tea base, green tea, and got this lychee, citrus, lemon. Oh man, this is so relaxing. This is unisex. Anybody, anywhere in the world, you can wear it. I mean, if I am not showing you this one, I mean, if you just want a budget version, you can go Elizabeth Arden green tea. This is also very long lasting, but the quality wise, this is a very different quality perfume. The fragrance just, dazzles you that good last all day very nice little project projection just really lovely okay you'll get compliments with it nishane ulongcha is worth the money of niche fragrances so top three number three uh this is a fragrance i think this is expensive for a good reason <laughs> one reason presentation second reason is longevity third reason is the gold flakes what is the gold flakes fragrance this one Lune Feline by Atelier, okay, and I think this is this or so, or I cannot say that name, but look at that. This is real gold flakes in there, very bling bling. It's mesmerizing to look at it. If you do that, it just moves around there in slow mo, very lovely, and got this heavy cap. Check out my review on this. This is absolute blind by worthy perfume. If you want to wear something, will just literally blow you away, like keeping you alive, <laughs> but. Uh, Colder months, night time, if you want to wear something spicy, kind of like this fizzy ginger, you know, and then the gourmand, again, the same amber. It's an, something similar to, uh, I would say, uh, Grand Soir by MFK, but better, okay, more interesting. And the gold flakes, actually, you can see on your skin, uh, like, shining, okay? So this is number three, Lune Feline, Atelier, Tessors, okay? Or Oros, whatever. Number two, this was my number one. Tom Ford fragrance in my top 20 Tom Ford list. But today it came to number two because of the next fragrance, which is better than this, in my humble opinion. Women, you can wear it. You will love this perfume if you like dark, sexy, mysterious perfumes, okay? Tom Ford does it the best, okay? Noir de Noir is fantastic. This is better. 
This is Tom Ford Noir fam. I do have the men Tom Ford Noir extreme. This is like couple, right? So they are very similar, but this one has that kulfi note, uh, but less spicy. This is more waxy sweetness. And uh, the fragrance basically also has great lasting power. Uh, but this perfume is not for everybody. I'm just telling you my opinion, but dark fragrance, not everybody likes it. Okay, you may like the black orchid more than this. Okay, but I tell you one thing. Give it some time. Give it a try and you'll see one day. It's not a fragrance you fall in love in one day. Okay, uh, just chocolatey, dark, mystery, sweet. It's so sexy. Okay, Tom Ford's best perfume till date for me. You know, Tom Ford Noir, femme. Leads me to number one. What is my number one even better than those? Uh, this is a perfume I bought recent times and this is the fragrance I'm showing today. Not my favorite angel share. It's a booziness. Not all women like to drink, I think. So uh, it's a fragrance like it's a one million worth, dollars of worth fragrance. Okay, but I think this perfume is going to dazzle so many more women. Okay, and this is less expensive. This is called Princess uh, by Killian Rose de Mai. Uh, you'll be like, yeah, we see your love for it. Man, this perfume has beastly performance. First thing, the performance on this is just out of this world. Very long lasting, first thing. Second thing is affordable, it's 100 ml, very beautiful bottle and a bit hard to find. But tell you what, if you do love that fragrance from Parfum de Marly called Delina, this is be, uh, not mother, be sister of Delina uh, because I feel this fragrance is so beautiful. The roses in this, heavenly. Okay, the caramel, the sweetness, and then whatever that up top the notes. I forgot all the notes, but just uh, just imagine like your fragrance just changes. Oh yeah, there's a matcha tea note in this one that gives that beautiful dry down. Okay, this perfume I highly recommend to both guys and women. But women would love wearing this because I know many many ladies love this perfume. Okay, so Princess Rose de Mai by by Killian. That's my number one. So these are my current. Uh, collection and I just rank them according to my liking. Hopefully you like the video and uh, I'll write down the names if it's too long video You can check them out and check out my full review. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye